1991, Oldsmobile Cutlass Restoration. Only no, 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 no. Okay, so so just with the title for, for for starters, just with this highlighted part right here, several issues right off the bat. Number one, Oldsmobile Cutlass. A Cutlass Sierra is not a Cutlass. Cutlass Sierra is not a Cutlass. It's not a Cutlass. It's for starters, that's not the same. Restoration only. Nobody's going to restore Cutlass Sierra. So there's that. Like, this was nothing more than like a bootleg Toyota Camry, front wheel drive, had nothing to do with Cutlass, and they slapped the name Cutlass Sierra on it. Like, come on, everybody knows that. $3,500. Okay, number three and number four. Number three, $3,500. No Cutlass Sierra will ever be worth $3,500. Number two, if it was, it wouldn't be one that needed to be restored, right? So. So, yeah, so we got numerous issues right off the... Oh, look at this! I didn't even know that Axe Body Spray made an AC vent accoutrement, but apparently they do. So check this out right here. The Axe Body Spray AC vent add-on unit right here. We've got the pre-airbag steering wheel, which admittedly looks better, but it's less safe. The knob has been ripped off the gear shift. That's really nice. We've got uh, an AutoZone um, steering wheel cover, which is ghetto as fuck and uh, the, my, the only thing that surprised me about is there, there's no betty boop cartoon on it you've got dr you've got beads on the driver's seat you've got like seat beads which never made any sense never made any seat beads like <laughs> like that's not gonna make it more comfortable like what the fuck like why not just like cut up a bunch of two by fours and throw them in the front seat and just sit on that like that makes more sense we've got this like box thing over the no, 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 no. Nothing about this makes sense. Nothing, like, negative sense-making is occurring. The ashtray is ripped out. The ashtray is literally just hanging by a thread. Just ripped out. Just ripped out hanging by a thread. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that makes sense. We need that. That's nice. Brake pedal showing a considerable amount of wear all the way through to the metal. Got the shitty, really cheap Target brand plastic floor mats. A lot of wear around the key slot, so we're seeing high miles on this unit. Okay, we've got seat beatage. We've got major seat beatage. We've got over here, this is either a cassette or a pack of new ports. Both are great signs. And then the weather stripping is coming off the door. You've got the crank windows, which is rare. Almost all these were sold with power windows. Like you had to be an absolute base model to get the crank windows. And here's what I love about this stupid car is that this little block where the little Oldsmobile sign is on the on the door panel, that's where they would have put the switches for the AC, or not the AC, for the power windows and power locks. But because this car doesn't have that, they just like put a fucking Oldsmobile emblem on it. Just kind of like class it up a little bit. Let's see. 3.3 liter? Okay. 3.3 liter V6. Admittedly, that's one of the better engines that they ever put in these vehicles. I will, I will hand it that. You got the ashtrays in the back seats because the kids need to smoke. It's 1993. Your kids are definitely smoking. And we've got the rear view mirror, which is also in the back seat. So while, you know, you know, it was pre-selfie years, 1993. So before vapes and selfies, right, you had cigarettes and a rear view mirror to look at yourself with. So that was like, you know, kids in 19, teens in 93. What you going to do? And then you've got the alloy wheels, which are hideous and I hate. Uh, the tires look good on them. I will give them that. And then you've got this little Oldsmobile badge on the rear, on the C panel, which I guess they, they did that for a few years. They sold these cars for something. 149, that's a rough 149. I'm sorry, that's a rough 149. Lewis Welch Oldsmobile, that's not from Georgia, I don't think. Where is Lewis, well, I'm curious now, where is Lewis Welch? Lewis Welch Oldsmobile. I'm just trying to check for the possibility of rust. Lewis Welch, okay, so it is from Atlanta. In Morrow, Georgia, Lewis Welch. So there's Lewis. That's that's literally Lewis right there. Do you see this picture? This really grainy black and white picture of this like silent generation. Er. Um, what else? Oh, the body molding's coming off. That's nice. The hood's faded. Roof's faded. Clear coat's coming off. Paint's complete garbage. The little flaggies are coming off. Little flaggies. That's the whole. That's the the best part of a Cutlass Sierra is little flaggies on the side. Every country got a flag on the Cutlass Sierra. Okay, this is this was back in the day. If you wanted to be in NATO, this is how it worked. You called Oldsmobile and you said, "Guys, we're trying to bring our country up, right? Finland, Sweden, Ukraine, all these guys who are trying to get in NATO now." Back in the day, they were like, "Look, we're trying to bring our country up out of the gutter, all right? Listen, Oldsmobile, we want to put our flag on your Cutlass Sierra, 
and get some visibility in the United States because these cars are on every street corner right now. And when the President of the United States and everybody else, citizen of America, see British flag, Italian flag, bam, what other flags are here? I don't know. I know German flag. There's a German. Yeah, because the colors here is very German. So all these big wigs from, you know, Russia, France, not Russia, fuck them. They didn't try to get in NATO. But everybody else except for Russia, all these people were flying to Detroit. They were shaking the hands at the Oldsmobile plates. They are buying hookers, doing blow in the GM center. And uh, that was really how people got in. That's, those are, look at those windshield wipers, by the way. Those are really, like, overly expensive windshield wipers for Cutlass Sierra. I will give them that. But what a, what a piece of trash. What an absolute, I'm sorry, conditioned salvage. Yeah, well, you got that right. Paint color is red, size is compact, title status is clean, transmission is automatic. All right, so selling an Oldsmobile Cutlass here for someone who likes restoring classic cars. Like, you have to be, I'm sorry, and I already said this, but I'm going to say it again. You have to be really fucking dense to confuse a Cutlass with a Cutlass Sierra. This is just like, it's, it's, this is not, not worth restoring. There's absolutely... And, and, and I love them. I really do. I love, I love color series. I really, I have a huge soft spot, not for like a red one with shitty rims on it, but like for like a nice clean stock one that was like dark blue or like, you know, silver or like a decent color. Yeah. Color Sierra. They're great. I love them, but they're not, they're not, they're not a cutlass and they're not worth restoring. This is being sold per for purely restoration and storage purposes. Please do not car drive this car regularly without proper engine maintenance. What the fuck? Like thirty five hundred dollars is not like, dude. What what crack pipe are you even smoking to believe that this is fucking like work? This is a restoration piece. Note: this car cannot drive properly, so that helps. That's great. That's a great. That's a great. Great bonus. Engine can run, but can also randomly shut off on you, and it is dangerous to drive. Issues. Engine seems to have a faulty air engine idle air sensor. Nope. That's not true. That's never true. Power steering, pump, and rack and le is leaking as well. Catalytic converter was stripped. Oh, well, that was the only value in this entire car. The only thing worth anything on this entire car was the possibility that you could rip the catalytic converter off. So, <laughs> I mean... I'd say our I'd say our whole case is pretty much blown. Driver right do side door vent air vent is broken. What is that saying? I don't can't read that. Driver side door lock is broken. Driver side door trim is broken. Driver side frame rubber is coming out. AC seems to work, but makes the engine run harder and makes it lose power. Oh my god, no, no. Well, I'm I'm really I really am legitimately. I, I'm not even, I, I'm, this is, this is, this is beyond more than just the car. This, I really am just so, I'm, I'm very curious about this person from like a mental health standpoint. Like, who are they? Where did they come from? What, what, what are they, what, what happened to their brain?